don't believe the hype in the media about not being able to manufacture profitably in Australia. I don't believe that, neither should you. I'm going to show you how. If this is the total cost of a product, then the usual approach is to minimise the design costs with a view to keeping the component costs as low as possible. The theory is that if these costs are low, you'll make a profit. The problem with this theory is that these aren't the only costs. Production has costs like labour. There's tooling, there's rework, and even after the product leaves the factory, there's support and service costs. The costs occur in this order, and production begins here. One of the things that's not obvious from this diagram is that if you just focus on the design costs with a view to keeping the component costs as low as possible, then you still pick up all these other costs. And by the time you've reached production, it's too late. You're stuck with this. Now the only thing you can do, the only cost you can change is the labour cost, and that's why people think you have to go offshore. Reduce the labour costs, make a profit, if you're lucky. We do things a little differently. We, when we design a product, we take all the cost areas into account so that instead of paying this ridiculous price, which you can't possibly be profitable at, you can have a cost of product that allows you to manufacture it at a profit in Australia. I'm Ray Keefe founder and managing director of Successful Endeavours.